You've met with Oriana. How did it go? Not well. Oh. Did she not divulge where you might find the Unseen? No, she did. Also divulged her hunger for the blood of small children. Well, I admit I'd heard rumors, but prefer to lend them no credence. Rather not talk about it. Caves west of town, other side of the lake. That's where we need to go. I see. Well, I'm prepared to set out at any time, but... Yeah, I know. You'd still prefer to free Sienna, for Dedloff's sake. For the sake of you both. Oh, please. Orphanage, what happened there? His fault, plain and simple. City gutters are overflowing with blood, that's his doing too. And you're worried somebody might have hurt his feelings? To meet the Unseen Elder is to face mortal danger. I've said so all along and never in jest. You are a friend, a dear friend. I'd rather you not risk your neck unnecessarily. I think it's natural, I think it's obvious. Obviously natural. Especially when we've an alternative, an entirely reasonable one. I'm a witcher, Regis. I don't cut deals with monsters. I cut monsters down, and I don't give a damn about the risks. Hmm. Well, I understand. I won't mention it again. Thanks. Time we were on our way. Listen, I need to sail there. Coming with, or would you rather float over as a puff of fog? I'd not be able to talk as a puff. And, as you know, talking is something I'd very much like to do. Mm-hmm. At length and in detail. Let's go. Know much about this Unseen Elder? Only that he takes unkindly to guests, especially the unannounced. Oh, Joy. Got a plan? Some idea how to appease him? Mm-hmm. The custom when meeting an Unseen Elder is to bestow upon him a stone symbolizing peace. Yet this type of stone occurs only in Harkland. Take it you're fresh out. Alas, just so. Thus, I fear we must rely on my personal charm. I'll fly ahead. Reconnoitre a bit.
be close. How can you tell? Listen. Don't hear a thing. Not one rat, one bat. Dead quiet. As I said, he despises guests. Nats atranes, avile cleva regis etu. Not one step further. Yes, you have walked your last. there, unless I could give myself a boost. Footprints, deep set. 
commands.
instead of down. be the offering for the unseen. And if I give this to the unseen elder, he won't kill me. At least not right away. Sophie, loud me armor. You live barely. You're not. 
not attacking. That mean you'll hear me out? Perhaps... speak? Hear about Detloff. He's... I know who he is. What of him? He's sicked a swarm of lesser vampires on the city. I have to stop him. But I do not. Sooner or later, Detloff will bring trouble. Serious trouble. How? As Kagmar brought trouble before, Folk will take him down, eventually. Might need a year, or two, or a decade, but they'll find a way. And then they'll go after other vampires. And eventually, they'll find you. And I should fear... Death? No. But that'll be the end of your peace, your quiet. Knights errant, mages, they'll come here day in, day out. One already managed to teleport here. Others will follow. You can be sure. You'll kill them, of course. So they'll flood these caves, or bring in sappers from Mahakam and collapse them. No. This place must be secure. The gate! Detloff. We have to convince him to spare the city. Will he? Probably not. Yet, we must try nonetheless. If there is a fight, if you help kill him... I will be anathema. This I know. And still, I ask you to summon Detloff. Where? Teshem Mudna. Go. Once I sent you there, I will summon Deathbath. I thank you. Leave me. Oh, that went better than I expected it would. All your unseen that... Uh, welcoming? No, they vary. Some are conceited, others imperious, but most can be reasoned with. But him... It was clear each word was a great effort. Interacting with others, it seems, it causes him physical pain. Never entered my mind that the conjunction of the spheres was also a cataclysm for you, for... Monsters, no euphemism required, you needn't seek one. I dare say it was worse for us. You arrived by the thousands, we were but a handful. Not much choice, assimilate with you, or shut ourselves off from the world, like him. Cave I was tossed into, that where the gate between worlds is? In a sense, yes. Just slam shut, sealed tight. Think it'll ever open again? Think you'll be able to go home? I sincerely doubt it. And I think, in truth, the Elder knows that as well. So why would he stay down there? What's the real reason? Hmm. To stay with the gate analogy, no door is ever completely impermeable. Smells come through, for instance. And when the wind rises, 
Some dust might be blown through the cracks. A palpable trace of things on the other side. It's not much, but it is something. And you? How do you feel now, where you are? Geralt, imagine the least comfortable situation you could ever find yourself in. What would it be? I don't mean a moment of pain with death knocking at your door. Just a circumstance of great unease. All right. In that case, a court banquet. Gotta show up in hose and a tight doublet. Gotta smile at everyone and engage in vacuous conversation. While Dandelion sings a ballad about me and Yennefer for all to hear. Very well. Now imagine you're stuck there. Not for an hour. Not for an evening. But for all time. And should you fall out of character for but a moment. Should you so much as scratch yourself where the stitching chafes all around you will scream, Monster! Monster! And they'll turn on you and tear you to shreds. Sounds... tiring. Damn tiring. I couldn't have put it better myself. Think that went better than... you kidding? I'd have been dead on the spot if not for my slowed metabolism. And yet you survived, though you are risking your life. The question is, why? This contract, it goes well beyond what witches customarily handle. I cannot abandon the matter, for Detlaf and I are bound by blood, but you... You could simply walk away. So why, my friend? Why stay and risk your hide? For you. You're in a heap of trouble, Regis. Trouble Detloff brought on. Seen you die once already. That one time was enough. I... Mm. I'm not certain I know what to say. I am grateful, Geralt. Time to summon Detloff. <sighs> yes. High time. Uh, do... Do you wish to go to Tesha Mutner right away? Let's go. Wanna get this over with. <laughs>